49ers or Cowboys? Yeah, I think I think when you go through a season like this so long and you invest so much, you, you wanna you wanna really appreciate what you've accomplished. So we're gonna take that time, not 24 hours, maybe 12, um, enjoy it for a little bit and get ready for the, the next opponent, obviously. Um, but I'm so proud of this team, how we came out here. I'm so proud of these fans. Um, it's, a, it's a Philly thing, you know. It's, it's a Philly thing. It's special. It is a Philly thing. And thank you so much. Feel better. Appreciate it. Hello, everyone. This is Al Kabir, the analyst. And um, today I just want to talk about the beatdown. The beatdown of the Giants, man. Eagles will be going to the NFC Championship game. It'll be Dallas or the 49ers, whoever it is. I'm ready to take them on, man. This is Al Kabir, the analyst. Uh, I'm not home. I'm at a hotel. But still got to give you guys the content. I even get to iron my jersey. But it is what it is. Um, look, beat down. Beat down. No other way to explain it. What, 38-7? 38 to 7. You know what game that remind me of? The Vikings, when we had to play them um, in 2017. Think the score is identical. The beatdown was identical. Jalen Hurts, shoulder is good, obviously. He took some hits. The playbook was open. The RPO started working. When that RPO opened up, running game got better, passing game got better. Um, you know, he opened it up with a nice, what, 30-plus yard. It's a Smitty. Um, Miles Sanders did his thing. But I got to talk about the guy that was in the thumbnail just a little bit. Kenneth Gainwell. They didn't get a chance to look up the numbers, but last time I seen it, I think he had like five rushes for like 38 yards. I seen him convert like a third and 15. I seen him get the last touchdown of the game. And look, man, Kenneth Gainwell... I thought this year was this year. I'm like, uh, they're they, they not really featuring him too much. But depending on what we do with Miles Sanders, Kenny Gainwell, if he had to be the number one back next year, he'll fit right in. He's not as explosive ever as a Miles Sanders. And right now, I got pictures, videos. I see Miles Sanders is the best back in the league right now. But the way Kenny Gainwell played, and I believe he will play throughout his career. He can be a number one back. If it comes down to it, man, Kenneth Gainwell is a dog. But right now, I'm enjoying the moment. Miles Sanders had a wonderful day. Gainwell had a wonderful day. Boston Scott got another touchdown. Shane Steyer stuck with the run. He stuck with the run. The passing game was working. But the run game working and you running that clock, stick to it. We had a drive where we only passed it like one time. I think it was to Dallas Goddard. He got us to like the one, and I think that's when Boston Scott scored. I, I believe that's when Boston Scott scored, man. So we did what we supposed to do to an inferior team, show that we are better than them. Giants is a good story. They're a good story, but we are the better team, clearly the better team. We had the better coaching. I'm sorry. I love day ball, but our coaching seemed better. You know, he decided to punt when they should have went for it, like on the fourth and eight. Um, I, I just the structure, of everything on our side was just better. Second half came out slow. I expected that to play a little vanilla, but after that, stay strong. Daniel Jones threw a pick after they kept saying he was a top ten quarterback. Got a sack fumble on them. They didn't lose it. I believe they recovered, if I'm not mistaken. So, Daniel Jones, not it. I kept saying, these are the teams he had a good game against. He played the Vikings twice. The Colts, when they, they had nothing to play for. And if you want to count that Detroit game, where he threw over 300 yards, cool. But he threw two picks to that game. I kept saying, Daniel Jones... Those are flukes. They ended the season like two or two, four and one. Those are flukes. He played the Vikings. This not secondary is not the Vikings. They came in hot. 
Oh, we're going to be the team to upset the Eagles. Did you see them barely beat our backups? But we blew out y'all starters twice. We blew out y'all starters twice, and we played around with y'all backups. It was a tune-up game for Jalen Hurts. A tune-up game for Jalen Hurts. So, cooked them boys, sent them home. Like I said, Giants is a good story. It, it'll, see what, it'll be fun to see what they do next year. Do pieces, do guys still want to actually go to New York and play with Daniel Jones? Um, of, of course, there were some negatives this game. Even with a blowout and almost flawless, um, the false starts, man. Jason Kelsey got to snap the ball. I, I seen some bad snaps um, by Jason Kelsey. Him just causing false starts on all the other linemen. He not snapping the ball. Um, glad enough foot off the gas, but it wasn't too much mistakes in that game. Just very little. Um, Saquon Barkley broke one, but that was like later in the game, so it really didn't matter. It's not really too much for me to nitpick on. And honestly, the guy I'm really nitpicking on is the all-pro Jason Kelsey. You, you can't commit penalties like that. You just can't snap the ball. Snap the ball right. Snap the ball right, man. I got to show love to my guy, James Bradbury. Caught a pick. Um, Dame Jones had no choice but to attack Bradbury, which was the mistake he, he he just couldn't get bradbury bradbury read him on the zone picked him off he tried to hit another guy deep on bradbury the ball sailed a bit bradbury was able, able to catch up break up that all pro type stuff man all pro type stuff big play slay did his thing i like how they rotated um CJ Gardner Johnson in the slot, and he was playing more hybrid. He was slot and safety. They had Reed Blankenship out there a lot, and Marcus Epps. Wallace came up big on a couple plays. John Sweat, that 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 defense was phenomenal, man. Hassan Reddick was a problem the whole game. He was a problem. I think it's time for me to cop one of his jerseys. He was a problem. The pressures, the sacks. It's a problem. But we 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 gonna be some we gonna be a tough out, man. We gonna be a tough out, man. The NFC championship game in the link, it's gonna get crazy. It's gonna get crazy, man. You know? After we handle what we gotta handle, that next stop, we gotta bring it in. This is the year to bring in another ring. I've been saying it. Since that first game against Detroit, I'm like, this team is special. Mind you, A.J. Brown didn't really even get involved this game. He had a few good catches here and there, but he didn't really get involved. Smitty did his thing. That man, Dallas Goddard, was a difference. Difference makers. And I kept telling the Giants fans that, like, I ain't yeah, had to deal with Dallas Goddard. Um, they, they scrubbing it. I'm like, okay. When they come to that re receiver screen, him just getting yak in general and not going down easily, I'm telling you, he's going to be a problem. And he was a problem. He was a problem, man. Um, Three guys I got in the thumbnail. And of course, I got to put Danny Pennies in there after smoking them. After we smoked them. We're smoking on that Giants pack. Easy work. Easy work. But, hey, man, on to the next. On to the next. But what do you think and how do you feel about the game, man? My my three big takeaways from the game, though, is can it game well? He took a huge step today. Dallas got a huge difference today. And James Bradbury doing what he do. Doing what he do. But this is Alcabeta Analyst. Ghost.